Hello everybody, welcome to my videos, my name is Jamie from Wizards Games, welcome to episode 3 of the Mega Edition video. Okay, so episode 3 is pretty much going to be done in the same way as episode 1 and 2, using my original Mega 5 when I got on Boxing Day 1989, the Batman pack, the best Christmas present I've ever received. Now I'm not playing my big box of Mega versions because I've been here all day, but we're focusing on another one of these. But like episode 2, there's not actually that many in here, so again, I'm going to throw in this one for free. But all I'm trying to do now is find out how many of these still play after 30 years, and hopefully in the future, the ones that don't work, hopefully we get them fixed one day and get working again. But anyway, first one on the list, this is a Warzone. Brilliant game by Core Design, never finished it without cheats before. But will it still play after 30 years? Looking good so far. There we go, Fairlight presents Warzone from Core Design. Cracked by Gaston. Okay, so it made its way to the cracked screen. Will it go one step further? Will it go to the title screen? Hopefully so. Looking good so far, please wait. But yeah, this is a brilliant game. Me and my brother were absolutely addicted to this game when we first played it in the other days. But anyway, the confidence is high. There we go. Superb. I have a big box version here. It's superb. Warzone by Core Design. Okay, so the game is his Warzone. The year is 1999. World peace has been threatened by an unknown enemy force. You and your accomplice have been chosen to lead an allied attack which will take you through eight different scenarios. So anyway, off to a very good start. This disc is performing really, really well, but this is again a really, really good game. Absolutely superb. Eight levels, but I've never actually finished it before without cheats. But this disc is superb. I'll mark it off my list as working brilliantly. You're armed with an automatic rifle as your initial weapon. As you progress through the game, new and more powerful weapons can be collected by shooting weapon crates. Machine gun, three-way shot, rocket launcher, grenade launcher, homing missile, and a flame thrower. Each weapon can be upgraded three times. Remember time, we're doing well, but yeah, this is a good weapon, but it's not the best weapon in the game. The homing missile is the best one to get. We don't get that until level two and level three. But yeah, that one is the one you want to try and keep for the remainder of the game. Also going to be played by two players simultaneously or as a single player game. The two player game centers around the interaction between both players developing teamwork for a cover my back style of strategy. But anyway, I think the furthest I've got in this game, maybe level 6, maybe level 7, but one thing's for sure, I've never completed it without cheats. It's a brilliant game, and again, brilliantly, fantastically working well. Okay, off to a good start. So next one on my list is Atomic Robo Kid. Fantastic, I love it. Many people didn't though. Does it work? Right, good so far. Haven't seen this one for a very long time. However, no music is here. Angels and Genesis presents the Atomic Robo Kid Cracked by Angels. There we go. No hesitations. Fantastic game. Activision presents Atomic Robo Kid. Okay, so the game. Atomic Robo Kid has just graduated from the Universal University of Space Combat on his first mission to travel deep into enemy territory and destroy everything that gets in his way. Trying to through some terrain passageways sprinkled with metal and bones. Rub black rubby blobs float in space mines and fighter satellites. Jet through the mazes on a terrific terrain and get caught in a cube with a horrific hybrid. And again, it's brilliant. I absolutely love this game, but many, many people didn't like it. But I have completed it on the CD4. That's the only version I've completed, because that is actually a lot more easier than this one. Now, in this game, the enemies don't actually kill you. Only the enemy bullets will kill you. But if you make contact with the enemy, it will slow you down, making being hit by a bullet a lot more easier task for the enemies. But anyway, you can get additional weapons, but if you die, and whatever weapon you have when you die, you lose that weapon. I remember the time not getting an awful lot weapons-wise, but there's quite a lot of luck in that. But anyway, we've got the fire turret, which is fantastic, so now the fires are a little bit more bigger in size. Now also, you do get boss battles in this game, and those are very difficult if you don't have the right weapons. So you've got to try and destroy this fan, which don't appear in the CC4 version. But some levels you do get a choice of routes of which way you want to go, which is always a, a nice touch of the game. But anyway, don't die, we have three lives, which is going well so far. But again, it's short and sweet, but this game is performing really well. This are performing really, cannot fault them. There you go. Okay, I can write it down in my book as working. Now, in the other days, I played this game up to death, I really, really did. But unfortunately, even though it was copied by one of our friends from school, we only had one disc. The problem is, the game has two discs, so every time I got there, I couldn't go any further. But now I do have a physical version which has two fully functioning discs, it works really, really well. Which is good now, but back in the other days, it was tough. But anyway, one disc was tested, one disc works, it's brilliant. Okay, two games tested, both working brilliantly. Next on the list is another superb game. This one is actually supposed to be on one disc, this is Zed Out. 
I only completed it once with that sheet. But this one had a very unusual story. But yeah, this is actually an original disc. Now, I've actually got five different physical versions of this game because there was always an issue with the second level. But loading to the title screen was no issues. And it doesn't sound like it's going to be any issues. And I love the sound of the Amiga loading. It's fantastic. There we go. No hesitation whatsoever. Fantastic game. One of my favourites on the Amiga. This is Z Out. Okay, so it's performing really well. But yeah, back in the other days, the loading of the game and getting to level 1 was not an issue. Never was an issue. However, the issue happened at the end of this level. It was very bizarre because it was happening on every single version I bought from the shop. Level 2 never seemed to work for me. So it took me a long time until I actually finally got to see that level for the first time. But yeah, it was very strange. I looked into it. I couldn't solve the issue. It was very bizarre. But I didn't actually have any copied versions of this game. Not a single one in the day. They're all original versions. But eventually, I did get myself a decent version, but yeah, it took about three or four attempts to get a good one. Okay, we're approaching the end of the first level. So I'm expecting this not to work. But anyway, we've got to shoot it three times, I think. A full beam shot should do it, which again is very much like our type. Superb. Right. Fingers crossed, however, I'm not expecting this to work. But you never know, we could get lucky. So it loads for a little bit. And it stops. So there we go, no surprise, level 2 has crashed. But yeah, all three of these did exactly the same thing. But yeah, it's a very bizarre problem, a very bizarre situation. But however, these Kickbox versions weren't over expensive. That one there was 4 99 the price tag's still on there. But yeah, every single one, level 2 didn't play. So eventually, over the course of time, I got myself a big box version, and this one works an absolute treat. So I was really, really happy. But yeah, a lot of attempts, a lot of purchases to get it working. But it's fantastic. One of my favourites on the Megan. Anyway, going to move on to the next game. Okay, three out of three, sort of. However, this one, I'm not expecting to work. Last time I played it, it didn't work. But this is my favourite game of all time. This is R-Type. And this was actually copied by one of my friends, and this was the first time I played our type and it absolutely blew me away. And ever since then, it's always been my favourite game of all time. But anyway, Black Monks. Again, we have a cracked screen, but we don't cheat on this channel. It's a no-cheating channel, so we're going to go on. But I'm not expecting this to work. Well, I have to admit, it's a bit... Whoa, my lord, a little bit glitchy there. But yeah, copyright 1987 by Irem. It's a very, very old game, but we made it... Right, there we are again. Now, Gumjo would say it's always time for an R9. I absolutely agree with him, but we'll give it one last try. At least we've got the title this time. Blast off a shot at Evil Bardo Empire, R-Type, copyright 1987 by Irem. But, there we go. Again, our beam bar is present, our high score and our two lives, but I don't think we're going to see any more additional footage. But this disc has been played so much. It really has. Probably one of my most played discs, this one. So I'm not really surprised it's going to crash. There we go, Groove Meditation. Right, so we're going to fire up Xcopy Pro and find out what is wrong with R-Type. Oh dear. Let me try. Well, I have to admit, even my Xcopy Pro floppy disk is showing a little bit of wear and tear. But, we'll load it up anyway. Okay, it's loaded up fantastically well, but anyway, let's see what happens. But yeah, even the metal slide on my disc is also faulty, but yeah, this has been through a lot, this disc. Right, we're going to do toolkit, check disc, and fire it up. I have to admit, I'm surprised how well it started. Now sometimes, in the other days, when we did this, if there was a fault, sometimes it actually fixed the fault. So we've got a two, five, so yeah, if you see a green zero, that is good. A number is not so good. So anyway, you go to errors, we find out what the fault is, but yeah, this one's got quite a few. So we've got two, which is no sync found, there's three of those. We've also got a number five, which is an error in edit format long, and we've also got a six, which is data check some error. So yeah, not in a good way, but anyway, we're going to move on. Okay, let's continue. This next one, Nick will prove it. This one, this is bang. Brilliant game, I love it. One single disc. This again, I think, was actually a copy from one of our friends. Error validation disc. Okay, will we try? <clears throat> now this one didn't really have a lot of issues in the other days, but it might take a few attempts. This structure corrupt, use this structure to correct it. 
Well, I think this one also, like our type, is completely nutly knackered. But yeah, this is actually my fifth attempt now. But yeah, like our type, this has also been played to absolute death. No, no dice. So anyway, another very poorly disc. However, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to fire up my physical version, box version, and see if I can get some footage. But anyway, this is a brilliant box, a brilliant game, but yeah, it's a very expensive box to own. Right, but will it work? So far, so good. Brilliant. There we go, fantastic. This one's working brilliantly. But again, like after type, this one got played so much, it really did. There you go, 1990 Ocean Software Limited, all rights reserved. Copyright Mitchell. There we go, no hesitation this time. That one worked brilliantly. There we go, copyright 1989. It's a pang. There we go, no hesitation for this one. But yeah, I'm not expecting all the versions to play today. There's going to be a lot of banana skins in a row, but that's what we're here to find out. How many work and how many do not. But anyway, it's working absolutely brilliantly well. No hesitation whatsoever. But yeah, this game is fantastic. Played to absolute death. Compete it even on live stream. It's brilliant. But anyway, do two levels. But yeah, start the game off with six lives, but it's absolutely outstanding. I haven't played all versions, but this is always going to be my favourite version, because it's the first version I played. And I also played the arcade version, but a long time ago. Season 4 version is probably the most difficult version of all the versions I've played, but of course there's so many I've not played yet. But there we go, can tick off the list, it's working. Okay, next on the list is Walker. Three discs, however, two of them, again, I've seen better days, the metal slide is missing. But me and my brother are absolutely addicted to this game. Walker was a game that was copied by one of our school friends. Again, it's going to be a cracked version. But again, will it play after all this time? So quick reboot, see if it works this time. But again, amazing game, really is good. Never finished it without cheats. But there we go, Fairlight, we make Sonic look like a hedgehog. Press the f mouse button, it's gonna, again, it's going to ask me stupid questions, do you want to cheat? The answer is no. No gun calling, no unlimited shield, no limited lives, all round shooting, no, in-game keys, no, start at level one. And there's in-game keys if you want to use them, we're not going to use them here. But will it fire up after all this time? There we go, no hesitation, fantastic game, absolutely outstanding, but like I say, never finished it before without cheats. This game is brutal, it really is. But, I like what I see so far, no hesitations here, it's working brilliantly. Right, so two of the three discs are functioning really, really well. But yeah, this game is brutal. Never finished it without cheats before. But anyway, it's superb. Me and brother were actually going away. In this game, you do have a gun temperature. And if you go all guns blazing, yes, your gun is going to be really, really overheated. And when that happens, you can't fire. So you've got to let it cool down. So it's a very, very tactical game. Now, in this game, you can either use keyboard and mouse or mouse and joystick. It's entirely up to you. But you use the mouse to use your crosshair and the keyboard or joystick to move your walk around. But anyway, I didn't do that with much shield remaining, but again, brilliant. Absolutely superb, really is good. But yeah, I have to admit, it's been a while since I've played this, but it's great to go back to every so often. Now these little guys, they can actually do what Luke Skywalker does in Empire Strikes Back. They attach a rope to the back of your vehicle, and if they get in there, they actually put a bomb in there. So what we've got to try and do is basically shake them off. But yeah, it's really well done. There we go, superb. But anyway, we've got three lives, and shield is okay at the moment of time. And the temperature... It's okay as it's also. But anyway, gonna move on to another game now. That is fantastic. Okay, next on the list, again, it's one single disc. This is Silkworm. Again, brilliant. Completed it on live stream. Right, again, it's gonna ask me stupid questions. However, this time. Me and Robert, did you get a bit of a major twist on this one? Because yeah, some of them have to be on and some of them have to be off. But yes, it's cracked. So yes, the life counter, you want that to be on, but the keep weapons, you want that to be off. So when you die, you lose your weapons. But collisions has also got to be on. If you put it as off, then you're not going to die. But we're going to start off at the first level. But again, didn't have a lot of issues in the older days with this one. It should function brilliantly. It really should. But again, an amazing game. Really is good. Competed it with a helicopter. Never competed it with a jeep. But I have had quite a few attempts because it was requested by Sweetest House. It's on my list of things to do. A little bit of glitch in there, but it should be okay. That's fairly normal. But hopefully it will load up. And again, amazing soundtrack. It is superb. There we go. 988 by Tecmo Limited. This is Silkworm. And it's functioning brilliantly. It works. As we're here to find out, as we're here to prove. <laughs> Wave 
10! My gosh! Right. What level is this? Right, we're nearly at the end, but I don't have any more lights. My lord, I can't get all that! Well, Mr. Sweeney's house, I've made it to wave 10. Can you believe this? Uh, however, I've used all my lights up, and if I were to continue, I go back about three or four levels. Which is mean, I have to admit. The bullets are disappearing off the screen. I couldn't see what I was doing there. There you go, that is the best. <laughs> That's the furthest point I've ever got with a Jeep. Oh my lord, look at that. Okay, next on the list, Tarkin 2, what a classic. I forgot I had a different version of this one, but I do have a box version of my collection. But again, it's cracked. Not a lot of cracked screen music for this video. But anyway, Yahoo! Hordes of Fans. Def Jam, a new release, releases Tarkin 2. Left mouse button. I can't remember if it's supposed to do that. That's not looking good. No, we've got a bad situation here. Right, quick reboot. Music sounds fantastic though. Ah, oh, is that an improvement? I don't think so. Well, the music is still there, but the image is not. I mean, click the fire button here. Well, the images are getting better, but it still doesn't look fantastic. But it does sound fantastic. But yeah, each time I'm trying, the image is slowly getting better. It looks like a red barcode at the moment of time. There we go, fantastic, it's working. Brilliant game, absolutely amazing game. We got there in the end. Time looking to presented by Rainbow Arts, 16 bit versions by Factor 5. So, anyway, apart from the little bit of a glitch with the title screen, you've not fought the game at all. It's working really well, no hesitations whatsoever. But anyway, boss battle, use the lightning. I think it's the best way of doing it, but watch the debris fall from the top. There we go, brilliant. Absolutely outstanding, I love it. Very pleased this one is still working. What we go to next? Okay, I just spent the last few hours editing the video up to this point. However, we're not done yet. We'll resume. The next game is again one single disc. This is Lemonoids. Simple idea. It works. It's fantastic. But will the game still work after all this time? Touchdown! Follow me. Meep, meep. Prepare to die. Dunk. Fantastic. I wasn't actually picking my nose though, I was pretending to. But anyway, what a game. Fantastic. First time we heard that in the other days, it made me jump out of my chair. I wasn't expecting it to do that. A bit like the first level of agony. It made me really, really jump out of my skin. But again, a simple idea. It's Lemmings, basically, with an asteroid's twist. It's a Lemmings clone. It's an asteroid's clone. Whichever way you want to look at it. But hopefully it will work. But again, looking good so far. Fantastic. And again, it's fantastic music. It really is good. Right, it's actually the fourth attempt. It was looking really, really promising. Then I had problems, and then it wouldn't get past the first screen. We made it to the second screen. I can hear, still hear sound effects through my headphones, but that's what it has been doing. But it hasn't been getting any further. Okay, what I've done here is I'm checking this disc, and as you can see, there's two errors there. Which are, again, I need to refresh my memory box, is no sync found. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna check it again, see if it finds them for a second time because sometimes in the past we have used this and it has fixed the problem. In fact it's found another one. That's really interesting because I just checked that this four times. The first three times I've got errors but in different places but the fourth time I've got 100% on the upper side and the lower side. So operation's complete and didn't find any faults that time. So is that disc now officially fixed? So there we go, Fire Media. I have to admit, I didn't really get this far, but this is amazing. I thought this disc was absolutely destroyed, but this goes to show that Xcopy Pro can still fix some of your dodgy discs. Not all the time, 
but tonight it's proved it right and this is the result it's working but yeah i checked it four times the first three times i was finding errors on the upper and lower sides of the disc I checked it for a fourth time and there was no errors found whatsoever and it booted up immediately no hesitations whatsoever but it's basically an asteroid's clone with a bit of a lemmings twist the lemmings do have a bit of a rough time in games and they are definitely having a rough time here as well so you shoot the biggest lemon, it spits into two small things, shoot them again, it spits again, and like pang, shoot the smallest one, and it disappears, and it takes you onto the next wave. But we are a lemmings umbrella. And of course, you do get bonus items in there as well. You don't get any weapon upgrades, unless you're doing a different mode. This game is also one or two player game, which again, me and my did play a lot in the other days. A game that doesn't really get mentioned, but this game was copied by one of our school friends, once again. But I'm absolutely delighted it's still working. Now if you press down, you also do have a shield which I believe is limited and up to accelerate and I love the sound effects as well, it's really good of course, the more you progress in this game, more enemies will be introduced now also in the option screen, there's an option to change objects you go from lemmings to a horror theme, maybe even a mega hardware theme but there we go, that's more enough footage, last one it was the last one shoot that one as well, bonus points, we've got 5130, just waiting for the last one Brilliant. Oh, you little rascal. Look at that. They refuse to die. They really do. There you go. Of course, like asteroids, you go from one side of the other. There we go. Superb. What a game. Lemonoids. Okay, we'll continue. We've had Silkworm. Now it's time for another one disc game. This is Swift. Again, very much like Silkworm. But again, it's fantastic. Completed it on live stream. And again, fired up immediately. This is the company. But again, no cracked screen music today. Not much anyway. Maybe we're far up. This one doesn't give you any options for cheats. If it did ask for cheats, we're not going to use them anyway, but it has found additional memory. And the memory is the only upgrade this Amiga 500 has had. Apart from that, it's unmodded, which is, again, why it blows me away that these games are working so well after so many years. But there we go, no hesitation. And like Silkworm, you can play it with a Jeep or a helicopter, but a Jeep is easier on this one. Okay, time got the ante. We're going for two discs this time. Dun dun dun! This is Zenon 2. What a game, what a game. I know it's not to everyone's taste, some people love it, some people don't. Hey, Grand Cowie, I absolutely love this game. Great memories. This was the first game me and brother saw on the Amiga in 1989. We made it want the Amiga so badly, we also did very nicely, and we got it the same year, Boxing Day 1989. The best Christmas present we've ever received, it was the Batman pack. Now, it took us a few months and we got this game again, but it was definitely worth the wait. But what a game it was. What a game it is. And to this day, it's still very challenging, but I have got a first time completion now. It took quite a few years until I got it. But anyway, will this disc still play up all this time? I do have a backup, I think I got this one from Boot Fair. And of course I do have my box version, but I won't show you because of course the box has green on it. Green screen behind me, it's going to eliminate most of the box. But anyway, it's been a long time since I've played these discs. Will it still function? How about we've got a flashing drive light? Not looking good. So possibly a groove meditation. And yes, you will see a lot of those on this video. So, click the mouse button, we'll go for a second attempt. Well, this is attempt number two. There we go. What a game. The Buddha Image Works presents. Fired up immediately this time. Just need a bit of extra kick. That's what it needed. But again, what a game. Superb game. Hmm. No dice. We get to title screen, but we cannot get to gaming footage. Give it a whirl. Okay, we've got a groove meditation, so we'll give it one last try. Okay, so we're going for the box version now. To see if we can get some footage here. Alright, far up. Is then on two. Come on, baby, light my fire. Show me the way to go home. Well, this is actually my third version now. Perfect! Woohoo! Yes! Brilliant! Well done to the Mega 500! There we go! This is the physical version and it fired up immediately and it sounds fantastic! What a game! Oh. Ah. <laughs> yes! That's the second time I've actually got past that boss! Right, this is the best go I've had. No joke, no question. My lord. I haven't used a continue yet. Do you know what? To this day, I've still never ever bought that dive before. I don't even know what it does. 
Does it cancel out anything? But I think you have to use a space bar to use it. But I've never seen it before. But this is the final level. This is the first ever time I've got here without using the continue. So this is the best go ever had. And I've also got the dive. I've never used a dive before. Press the space bar. And dive. So I guess you can't take any damage. But yeah, I've never seen that before. There you go, we weapons giving back to you. There you go! I've done it again! <laughs> no continues used that time! Fantastic! That's the second time I completed Zed on 2! All original hardware! Using floppy disks! What a game! There you go! Happy! <laughs> yes! There you go! That is my greatest ever score! My greatest ever attempt! So that deserves a screenshot. <laughs> right, next up, Operation Wolf. Two discs. Now this game, I think, is best to be played on a 500. It runs at the right speed. On a 1200, it goes really too fast for me. But anyway, will it work? We've got a green drive light, but not a lot is happening on the screen. Right, very early on, we're testing out the second disc. Insert disc Kalo, man. That's disc one. This one's already in there. Click the button. Please insert Wolf 1. Let's try Wolf 2. Again, I think we either got this copied for us by one of our friends or it was a boot fair department. However, that does not look good. So we're going to reboot one more time. But then this one looks okay. Can't see any marks on there. Looks good. Right. Go again. There you go, that was tough. A lot of work went into that one, six attempts, but there we go, it's made it to the title screen. Operation Wharf, 1988, Ocean Software Limited. What a game, brilliant, but never finished it on the Amiga before, but have on other versions. Might help Jamie if you press the mouse button, not the joystick button. Come on Jamie, you're 40 years old this year, I think you know this is a mouse game. Right, that's a really small screen. Mm hmm. Well, that memory on my camcorder. Right, we're there eventually. However, I'm running out of memory on my camcorder and I'm getting rather hungry now. But it's working. However, we had a lot of problems along the way. It keeps asking for this one when this one is already in the drive. Well, it's not looking promising. I think that's enough testing for this one. This two isn't working. One isn't much better. But anyway, Operation Wolf is a no-go. Okay, quick update. I've done 11 games so far. Only three of them have not worked. So I'm fairly happy with that. It's not too shabby. Right, next one. Robert Gray approved of this one. This is Robocop 2. Two discs for this one. I really liked it. I really, really did. But a lot of people didn't. But it's fantastic. Hard as nails, though. Can't get far without cheats on this one. It's very rare I get off the first level, but anyway, so far, so good. I think, again, I bought this one from a boot fair. Again, it's Ocean, copyright Ocean Software Limited, 1990. So far, looking good. There is a fantastic screen as well, but hopefully we'll get all the way to the title screen, and hopefully, even further than that, get some gaming footage. But again, it's one of those games I can't get far, really haven't. There we go, fantastic, there we go, got box version here, took me a few years to get it, but there we go, Robocop 2. Brilliant game, brilliant film. Okay, why not, let's have a quick go. But anyway, thinking about it now, I don't think I've actually got past this level at all. I mean, yes, you do have a lot of time at the start, but a grand total of 10 minutes. Which sounds like a lot, but there is a lot to do, there really is. Negotiate the river complex, collect 10 loot capsules and destroy the drugs lab. Rescue all hostages for additional life. But yeah, got to try and avoid so many enemies. The trouble is, these enemies we spawn all the time. Now, your health is actually a can of coke, which is located on the bottom left, which is draining all the time. Because, like I say, there's enemies all over the place. And the bazooka people, I think, drain your energy the most. But items can also be found around the stage. Now, you don't actually have to rescue all the hostages, but if you've got to get additional life, then that's the way to do it. But I suppose it is quite difficult to try and do that, and do all the other objectives that have been placed as well. Also, the jumping isn't the greatest. Now this bit is difficult because if you actually collect an item, you're actually knocking off the platform. 
So even though it's raining cans around here, you've got to avoid them at all costs. And I'm amazed they did that first time. I'm very happy with that. Yeah, I'm trying to get there, my friends. Another one down there. Right, I've got... Right, I've got all the nukes. Every single one I've got. Don't shoot the prisoner. Right, there we go. Right, I've got 70% of the hostages, and I've got all of the nukes. And health is okay. That will finish a little bit of my energy. Woohoo! Lovely. Okay. Whoa! Okay, that's her. Ah, right, arrested enemy. Hostage, you could well have been. Oh, that was the best guy I ever had, but still did not get past the first level. Okay, next one. The Persian Gulf Inferno. What a game. Fantastic. Right, have done a long play this one. But this game, you definitely do need a paper and pencil. If we get that far, we try. Disc is unreadable. Okay. Got a few bumps in the road, but hopefully with the right tyres, maybe we can get over these bumps. But hopefully once this series is... Com Who's Jim the Creep? Greetings from Jim the Creep. There we go. We got there in the end. However, it was not an easy ride. Had a lot of problems on the way, but it's working. We got to this amazing intro screen. Fantastic. So I write it in my book with working, but a few loading issues. So one disc was tested, one worked, but it didn't run smoothly. But we got there in the end. But anyway, another one to take off the list. It's a fantastic game. Brilliant. Love it. Okay, I think it's reached that part of the video now. Let's go for more of this game, Speedrun. Right, next on the list, Dark Fusion. Again, one single disc. I think the reason why I'm doing a speedrun now is because I'm quite surprised how many in this box are actually single discs. But, is this going to work? Again, superb game. It was better on the CC4 in my personal opinion, but I did like it. However, that does not sound good. That doesn't look good either. Reboot. Yeah, don't like the sound of that. So, this one could be absolutely wrecked, but should be okay. Didn't really have any issues in the other days, but again, you've heard it all before. Back then, it wasn't an old game, now it is. Try that, it could be something silly like that. You never know. Try again. Okay, here we go again. This time, Dark Fusion. So we're going to check disc, click on the light bulb, and let's see what's wrong with it. Okay. And start the test. Right, five is right at the start, followed by another five, another five, another five. So many fives. Yeah, you don't have to be the shyest coin in the fountain. If it's fair to say, this one is not going to work anytime soon. Now, I've done three videos so far for this series, and this is by far the worst one so far. And I don't think even X Copy could fix this one, but yeah, that is absolutely destroyed. So, Dark Fusions is a brilliant game, but it's not going to go any further than this. But yeah, that is going in the bin. It won't actually. It might be fixable, you never know. But yeah, that will go in the separate box, I think, of absolutely annihilated discs. Okay, next one, Dragon Fighter. Again, I bought this one from a boot fair a very, very long time ago. 
But again, it's not getting off the starting blocks. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, make up your mind. What are you doing? <laughs> well, this is my third attempt so far at Dragon Fighter. We made it to the title screen. It's these best presents. Not seen this one for many, many years. But it's nice to actually have some music on a crack screen. And again, it's fantastic. There we go, Dragon Fighter. Can we go on to the next section, though? Ooh. Please turn off your Amiga for 10 seconds and disconnect any cartridge if present. No, I've given it all it's got, but no dice. Next up, kick gloves. Now this is actually an original version, but I don't have the box anymore. Again, it's gone straight over the years, but it wasn't overly big box. Should be an overly expensive one to get hold of again. But it's a good game, I like it. Again, we've got a green screen, black screen. Hopefully, it'll work. We're not going through a particularly good moment of this video at the moment in time. Not many are working. Fantastic. For a moment there, I thought it was going to crash. But we go. Again, made it to the title screen. Great music by David Whittaker. Next one, ABB. This one I bought from a friend from school. There we go. Again, following it up. Again, it hasn't been played for so many years. Again, a slight hesitation. This has actually got two games on it, I had no idea. We've got ABB and Zybox. We'll go for F1. Well, it is there, but it's very dark. But it does say ABB, copyright 1989 by Tengen. All rights reserved, Domark Limited, registered users. But yeah, it should be a little bit more brighter than that. But again, the music is done by David Whittaker. Well, ABB didn't get anywhere. It was crashing all the time. However, this is not looking too bad. It's looking alright so far. Touch wood. Oh. Well, we've got music this time. But again, the image is very dark for some reason. It shouldn't be that dark. But it's working. However, that was not an easy task. That took a lot of work. Okay, we made it. However, it was not an easy task. It really wasn't. A lot of problems along the way, but we got there in the end. But again, this disc is not 100% perfect. It definitely does need a little bit of TLC in the future. Try and get it working to the best of its ability. But anyway, it's been a lot of years since I played this, but I did play this on the arcade a lot more. Not the greatest scroll, but the game isn't bad. Not bad. They go, Darwin Day, bonus, $2,000. Gas bonus, 90. Next one, Assassin. Great game by Team 17, but very difficult once again. Never finish it without sheets. And there we go, Melon, Crystal Cracked. There we go, amazing artwork. And this game is seriously brutal, it really is. I've never ever got past the second level. I've had so many attempts over the years, but it's really, really difficult. Very easy to fall to your death. But also a very, very difficult level in terms of length as well. And anyway, it's crashed, it's got to do meditation. That's actually my third attempt. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna focus on this one. We'll try the physical version and see if I can get that one going. Right, let's give this one a try. Assassin, original version. This box has actually got the original receipt in it. It was actually sold from a shop called Gemsoft. It was sold on the 6th of March 1993 at 4.14pm. And you pay £21.99 for it, pay £25 cash with £3.1 p change. But there we go, it's working fantastically well. That's more like it, that's what we'd like to see. There you go, much, much better. Assassin, programming by David J. Broadhurst. Fantastic game. But anyway, it worked, we took off a list. But it wasn't the one I originally wanted to try out, but it's good to see it's working. Next one, again, bought it from Brook Fair. This is Yojo. 
box version I would love to get one day, but I've never seen one with my own two eyes. Not in the shop anyway, only online. Two discs, let's see how it does this time. There we go, I like what I'm seeing, I like what I'm hearing. Sounds good for me, Liga. Do have an issue with the intro screen. Oh my lord. Right, we've got a really bad situation going on here. Right, okay, that's not good. Quick reboot is in order there. Perfect! Absolutely perfect! Maybe not. Okay, we're still going. David Ginson, you're approving this one, buddy. This is Blood Money. Two discs, the most difficult shoot em up on the Niga. And one day, Mordus Games will be victorious of completing this game without cheats. And speaking of cheats, unlimited lives, unlimited money will be very handy, but we're not doing it here. No no to all of those. Right, unfortunately, that crashed. Not a problem, we'll go again. So, we'll click the mouse button again. It's going to ask me for additional lives and money. No, we're not going to do any of that. No to that. A DMA design game. There we go. Cue the awesome soundtrack. What a game, but seriously difficult though. Hold it right there. Are you really ready for this one? Have you got the courage to load up this experience and make all the games you've played seem prehistoric? Because Blood Money is simply the best arcade game you've ever seen. It has staggering graphics, amazing sound effects, and music, and the most gripping gameplay you've ever tackled in your life. Blood Money just leaves competition for dead and takes you into a new realm of arcade action. But it's going to be tough. From the instant you hear that driving soundtrack, you'll be plunged into the maelstrom of sheer destruction and you plunder into the four outer planets in a kamikaze quest for golden glory. The aliens of blood money set some vicious traps and it's going to take all your skills just to survive. Use your awesome firepower wisely and turn all aliens into blood money. They can earn additional weapons and equipment. You're going to need them because there are no easy screens in blood money. It's a life and death struggle that demands all your tactical genius and shoot em up know-how before you battle through to confront the four planetary guardians. With its vast bitmap graphics, Superb animation, blistering sound, devilish opticals, awesome firepower and one or two player options. Blood Money is the greatest challenge yet faced for any game player with a passport to outer space. And that's on the back of the box. But anyway, we're going to test out the second disc. It's fantastic. So far, so good. But I won't be completing it today. But in the future, Mordor's Games will be victorious. Where's the joystick? On the floor. What a game. But does it load up? It does indeed. Again, it's amazing. Absolutely fantastic. But like I say, this is the most brutal shoot em up I've ever played in my life. Oh. Well, I was going to have a go. But. It's crashed. Okay, we're still getting through this last box. However, not many more to go. However, this next one is going to be a challenge. This is Lotus 2. See what I did there? But yeah, like our type, like Pang, this disc got played so much. But back in the day, we did have quite a lot of issues with this disc. And the issue arise when we were trying to load the third track, which is Pea Soup, which is the fog level. But yes, you should load up the first and second tracks, no problem. But it always crashed when it was loaded up the third. So it took us an absolute lifetime to finally get to play that game. And it took me even longer to get past that level. But I have done it now, but I still have not completed the game. But anyway, let's see if it fires up. It'd be great to hear the music again, and I'm going to see if the pea shoot blows up. I'm assuming it probably won't, but it's working, which is quite surprising, I have to admit, because like I say, this has been played so much. So even to this day, I still don't know whether Lotus Turbo Challenge 2 or Supercars 2 was the first driving game I played. It was one of those two, but I don't know which one it was, but both of them absolutely blew my mind. It's fantastic. But anyway, it's still going, it's still loading, sounds all right but this one again has had problems along the way but we're, we're there fantastic it's great to hear the music again lotus turbo challenge 2 
Now, I do have a physical box version, which of course we need the password system, but here, crap by the company 991, we don't need it, just press the fire button. Right on, let's give it a try. However, hopes are not high for this one. I'm expecting this to crash, but anyway, we'll give it a try, nevertheless. Pea soup, automatic, five acceleration. Let's go. Right, here we go, the fog course. Now, I'm expecting this to crash, it always did back in the day. However, even though we knew this level wouldn't load, we still kept trying. Every single time we kept trying and hoping that one day it was going to work, but it never did. How is that possible? My lord! This never played in the older days, and today it has! This Amiga is absolutely unbelievable. What a machine! I can't believe I'm actually playing this on the, that original disc! Trouble is, you get so many cars to overtake on a bend. Now, I don't really know what is the most difficult part about the level, whether it's the lack of time, the amount of cars on the road, the fact that it's a narrow road, or the skids or the fog. They're all very difficult, but I don't know what is the most difficult. I think it's probably the cars, I think, especially on bend. I think it's probably the one that loses me the most time. And of course, time be very tight. But yeah, nine times out of ten, the cars need to be overtaken while you're turning. Or they put a skid on a bend as well. But, again, it's going to go down to the wire, it always does. But I don't know how many more I've got to go. Checkpoint, where is it? There we go. This could be the last section. That's good. No. Lost a lot of speed though. Well... I think we're there. I really do. Alrighty, Rocky Roo, I can't believe it, there we go, that has never been completed on a floppy disk before because in the other days that level never played, it never loaded, I can't believe it, but there we go, I'm absolutely over the moon with that, I, I'm gobsmacked, I can't believe that this level never ever loaded in the other days, and it's just absolutely blown it away that time. Okay, the last few of this video are going to be sped up. Next on the list, one disc once again, this is Super Hang On. This one, I don't know how we got it, it was either bought from a boot fair, or it was given to us by one of our friends. But anyway, no hesitation there, fired up immediately. Will it go even further? Will it load all the way? You better believe it. There we go, no hesitation, loaded up in a flash. Super hang on. Will it go even further? Fantastic, there we go, brilliant. Next one on the list, Rockstar Ate My Hamster. Love the title of the game. I do have a box version of it, but this game I don't understand. In fact, I bought the box version last year. But anyway, I don't know if it's going to load though, but again, I don't think this was our disc originally. I think it was given to us. Or we bought it for a boot fair. But it's not looking like it's going to go any further. But you never know, you could get lucky. But yeah, I don't understand this game. I know what you have to do, I just don't know how to achieve it. Well, it's made it! There we go, fantastic! There we go, Rockstar Ate My Hamster! A Rockstar Ate My Hamster! I just said that. There we go, it's working brilliantly! Next up, Hard Driving 2. HD 2 Plus. Right. There we go. Frozen off-road time, frozen countdown time, frozen lap time. No to all. There we go. Superb. Working brilliantly. Okay, two more games remain for this video. Next on the list is Disc. One single disc, this game. This fantastic game, I really do like it. However, I've never ever seen a box version of this. I don't even know what the artwork looks like. But anyway, is it supposed to do that? I'm not sure. Do we quickly boot? That's more promising. Bingo, that's some of that. The company decided to crack disc. 
Right, Lost Shore presents. This is a brilliant game. I'm assuming this game is a two-player. I'm not sure. But there we go. It's fantastic. It really is good. Okay, so the game this is Disc. A game of fast reflexes and clever thinking. Control one player against a computer or another player. The objective is to finish off the opponents by knocking them off the platform or making the platform disappear by hitting the walls behind your opponent. Your weapon is a disc which can be thrown at the opponent or off the walls. The disc will ricochet off the walls, open a wide range of angles and attacks. You also try to direct hit at your opponent, as another of these will limit it as well, but be careful since it gives them a chance to block your disc and gain full control of it. As you progress through the levels, from novice to disappointed to the great guide, your rivals become tougher, platforms take longer to disappear, and are more discs on the playing field. And it's me, which is Zoom, against Eagle, the computer, and this disc is performing really, really well. See what I did there? But anyway, it's superb, I really do like it. But anyway, when the disc is white, then you have full control. When it's orange, you do not. You have to deflect it with your shield and change its colour. And the moment of time, it's not looking good for him. He's stuck in a bit of a situation there. But if we just chuck a few more in that direction, and hopefully his energy will drain. At the moment it is. But it's brilliant. It really is a good game. But anyway, I did that with four minutes remaining. Fantastic. Again, it's performing really well. Cannot fault it. Okay, final one on the box. Final one for this video. This is Continental Circus. Here it goes. One single disc. There we go. No problemo. Sales Curve presents Continental Circus. Distributed by Virgin Mastertronic. Okay, course one, Brazil. Current ranking is 100. Qualifying rank is 80. Let's go. Continental Circus is a racing simulation arcade game created by and manufactured by Seattle in 1987. In 1989, Ports of Amiga, Amstel CBC, Atari ST, Commodore 64, MSX, and Z Spectrum were published by Virgin Games. And it's a good game. I do like it. I got it on the CG4 as well, but it's difficult because your car can take damage very, very easily, very quickly. I think these cars are made out of tin foil because the slightest touch and you start to smoke. And when that happens, you've got to try and get yourself to the pit. And if you don't get there quick, eventually you'll start to burst into flames. And if you take even longer, then you're going to explode. But you've got to try and get to rank 80. But it's actually up to accelerate and down to brake. But trouble is, one slightest touch is enough. And if cars are too close together, it's very, very easy to make a mistake. Now, I don't know if the other cars can also take damage, but also they could actually hit you, like from behind, and yeah, that will make your car explode. Or we just drive into the back of them, but again, it's very, very difficult to not do it. But anyway, we're fairly close to the pit, it's not too bad, not too shabby. But we are currently in rank 98. All good, all good to go. Right, so it's a manual gearbox, which again, I'm not a fan of, but we're back in rank 100 again. But of course, you get time extensions when you get to the end of the lap. Now, I don't know how many laps there are, but again, it's a no contact sport. But I'm assuming other cars don't take damage, but if you're on a straight, you can actually overtake multiple cars very easily. It's when Ben's arrive, that's the problem. Right, so 93. That was close. 92. 91. Extending time. 89. 82. 17 seconds remain. Two more. And then we qualify. 79. Let's see what we can do. The more the better. The further you can get, the more it's easy going to be for the next track. But this is actually Brazil. There we go. Nice run. Do your best. Fantastic. And again. Another disc performing really, really well. There you go. Okay, buddy, that's more than enough footage for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, but a quick recap before we go. Now, over the course of yesterday and today, I tested 25 games. Didn't test all of those discs, just 25 games. Now, of those 25 games, 14 loaded without any issues whatsoever. Six did not work or crash very, very early on in the game. And three needed additional versions to get it going, and two loaded eventually with many, many, many attempts. But overall, I'm very happy with that. Until next time, people, this is Jamie from Wallace Games. Please like, comment, and share, please subscribe to my channel, favorite the fan page, and visit on Twitch, that's something Wallace Games to find it fairly easily. Please remember to get the bell icon and notify you visit Load of Fantastic. If you're not doing these sort of videos, do retro on Facebook, Twitch, have a making, and live streams on Friday night, good time, 8 o'clock, time by week. Just I'm dizzy. Ciao, bye. See ya. You and your compass have been chosen to lead an allied attack on. I can't do it. Jamie, I can't do this for some reason. You and your accomplice have been chosen to lead an allied attack which will take you through eight different scenarios. See, we're not playing the game, you can do it easily. Trundle terrifying pass. Hold on.
Well, this has never happened before. I've never been sandwiched in between two satellites. Holy moly, that's never happened before. However, I've been slowed down a lot, but we're not dying. My lord. Get out of there, Jamie. That's never happened before. <laughs> Right, we've got bad music, but it has fired up, but it shouldn't sound like that. Okay, this is something I've never done before. I've actually bought the Super Nash 1 power, which lasts for about 10 seconds. And it's going to be taken away, then we're going to go back to what I had originally. So it's not going to be a lot of difference, really. It's pretty much exactly the same, yeah. But this is the final level, this is the first ever time I've got here without using the continue. Oh. Well, I think there's a combination of crashing and OSSC trying to find the problem to a problem that has arisen. Okay, course number one, Brazil. Current ranking 100, qualifying rank is 80. So we've got hiccups. Concept of Circus is a racing simulation arcade game created and manufactured by Chateau in 1987. In 1989, ports to the Amiga, Amstrad CBC, Atari ST, Commodore 64, MSX, and Zenith Spectrum were published by Virgin game. Sorry, I do have hiccups today. Right, so this is a good game. However, it's also very good on the... Uh. The weapon of your choice is a disc, which can be used to throw it at... The weapon of choice. Jamie, it's the only weapon in the game, you pillock. 